Welcome back into the Tell Me Shorts teaching series. And I want to talk to you today about helping to bear one another's burdens. Helping to bear one another's burdens. This is probably one of the most difficult, complicated, and yet very simple exercises in our spiritual walk as believers in helping others in their time of need or the burdens that they're carrying. And we spoke a little bit about this in the last couple of sessions, but today I want to be a little more specific about what, it's, what it means to carry one another's burdens. Have you ever had the situation where you have somebody who's in great pain, they're in great emotional, spiritual, mental distress, and you simply don't know what to do? That's what I want to talk to you about today. So I'm going to ask you to turn your Bibles to the New Testament and turn your Bibles to the book of Galatians, Galatians chapter 6, and let's look at verses 2, 3, 4, and 5. Galatians chapter 6, verses 2, 3, 4, and 5. Let's look at this very carefully because the Apostle Paul addresses this issue. Let's read together. Now, remember, I'm reading out of the New American Standard Version of the Bible, depending on what version Bible you have. And, and the other issue you have to remember, what we're trying to do in the Tell Me Short series is to provoke us to think carefully about our walk in Christ, with Christ, for Christ, and how we represent that gospel before the living world. So in Galatians chapter 6, let's start in verse 2. He says, Bear one another's burdens, and thereby fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone thinks he is something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. He says, but each one must examine his own work, and then he will have reason for boasting in regard to himself alone and not in regards to one another. Verse 5, for each one will bear his own load. Now, I just want to give a brief uh, a brief uh, explanation of what the context here is right? without going into verse by verse by verse by verse. That's, that's in another kind of a teaching. But, you know, one, our quiet, sometimes you have someone who's gravely ill, someone has lost a loved one, and we have this need to just talk, 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 talk. And sometimes what you have to do is, okay, is that you just have to be quiet. And so our quiet presence during someone else's time of pain, you know what it says? It says that it says more than any words of advice can ever be, can ever be said. Mm -hmm. so take, let's take, for example, a grieving widow, okay? Or a grieving widower. I mean, let's just take that for example. You know, they don't need to hear our own tale of loss. I've done this long enough now where I've had to deal with someone who's just lost a loved one, they've passed away, um, there's a wake, there is a funeral, and after the funeral people gather, or before the funeral, and people just have this need to share their experiences right off, right at the beginning as they enter the situation with someone. You know, sometimes you just need to listen to me very carefully. I want to be as respectful as I can possibly be. You just need to shut up sometimes. Say nothing. Say nothing. It's not about you. It's about the person who just lost their loved one. And, and just try to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit when to open your mouth. Look. So if you take a, uh, a widow for an example, okay? doesn't need to hear our own tales of loss. You know what? She needs an arm. She needs an arm that will embrace her, okay, around her shoulder so she realizes that she's not alone. And sometimes the best thing you can do is say nothing. Let the Holy Spirit lead you and guide you when to open your mouth. Now, think about your own situation. Let me see if this will help you. Just think about the times when we bring our burdens, okay, before the Lord in prayer. Just think about that situation right now. Just, just, just simply experiencing His presence. His presence lightens the weight that we've been carrying. He doesn't have to speak, but we know we're in His presence. So God's response to our personal pain, to our personal pain, 
is a clear demonstration of what? It's a clear demonstration of how important it is to make ourselves available and listen to our neighbors, to our friends, to our acquaintances, to our loved ones when they're in that pain of loss or they're, or they're experiencing great pain for other reasons. Sometimes they just need they just need your presence. That's all they need. So no matter how inadequate, and, and, and I realize why we do this, okay? I realize why we, we just we just feel this need to talk, 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 talk. It's because we, we feel inadequate. But it doesn't matter how in, inadequate we might feel. We can all share our burden by spending time with a friend or a loved one who's enduring hardship. Your time and your silence, your presence, is probably the most precious thing in that moment. Look, and if you're patient, you know what's going to happen? And this is key to understand this, is that the Holy Spirit will let us know when words, when words are not necessary and when it's the right moment to speak. You have to be led by the Spirit. You'll know when. And that often becomes our opportunity to share how the Lord okay, has worked in our life during a very painful, painful period. But I can guarantee you that it's not at the beginning. It's not at the beginning to start sharing. We just feel this need to just talk. Silence. Time. Presence and arm around the shoulder and embrace at that moment is more important, more effective than anything else. Listen, when we give the Holy Spirit control, yes, even when we're ministering to others, we have to give the Holy Spirit control of that situation. Then, you know what's going to happen? He's going to bring to our mind situations um, emotions and the ways that God has helped us and you will know if you walk by the Spirit you walk in the Spirit okay Amen. in the Word of God he's going to indicate you he will prompt you when to open your mouth and what to share when to share exactly how much to share and this is the other area people who have lost a loved one if someone has the need to tell them, well, you know, I lost two loved ones. It's like you want to up the ante uh, that your, your pain is greater than theirs. No, not at that moment. Their pain is the greatest pain at that moment. And so you have to understand that if you're patient, and, and this is one of the ways that we help to share our burdens and to carry out and to bear one another's burdens. Look, and then we can use those things to minister to others, but only when we've been led by the Spirit. Look, do you realize that hurting people, you know what they do? They grab onto kindred stories, okay? As if it's as if of a lifeline. When they hear things that are similar, it doesn't have to be exact, they grab onto it, but they do so only at the right time, at the right moment. Because when the Holy Spirit indicates for you then to talk, it's because the Holy Spirit has already indicated to that person it's time to listen. It gives a person, okay, it, it, you know what, the, it gives them hope. It gives them hope that since the Lord has shepherded you, the Lord has shepherded someone else through a valley of darkness, okay, he will surely be faithful to do the same for another. You see, this is why being led by the Spirit is so important. Look, our spirit developed, how can I say this? Our spirit developed compassion, okay? May requires to give our burden neighbor, okay? Our burden loved one, okay? Other types of help also. In fact, even material aid. Sometimes that's what you're gonna have to do, okay? Look, it's easy to pray for a friend, it is. And it's easy to share our story with a church member. But we cannot limit ourselves to those things only. Because when somebody's experienced loss, you know, many times their financial world has collapsed as well. So if we're willing to be used, 
right? And that's that's the issue. Are you willing to be used by our Heavenly Father? Okay, we must be open to His leading on how to offer our assistance to that person who is burdened and carrying a load they cannot carry by themselves at that given moment.